We play and call it work. Mini Wargaming's Warhammer 40k Crusade. Mini Wargamer Dave here from MiniWargamer.com here with Scarry from Scardcast. Welcome, Wargamers, to another Crusade mission. Today, it's going to be Supply Cache. This is Incursion Battle from the New Veil of Darkness Crusade campaign book. Well, this is actually from the main book. And it's from the new book. <laughs> and that's what we're doing today. Main and, rule book. Let's go. And if you haven't seen Scardcast videos, check them out on YouTube and a bunch of links in the video description below for his uh, channels and things and videos and places because he is doing a fantastic job of teaching me Crusade campaign also fighting against his Yanari, and also me learning these orcs. All of that, all in the one, without you, all none of this would campaign. be possible. So it's thank okay. you. Well, thank I love you. it. No, thank you. very good. Thank no, you no, 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 no. After you, I insist. No, we have you, you a Canadian first. standoff, yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody. No, 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 no. That's what it is. That's Canadian what it is. standoff for being too nice. Absolutely. I'm sorry. <laughs> Taking a look at my orc force here. Now, there's a total of 60 power that you're looking at, combination of all of the models uh, on both sides there. This side here, this is 35 power level for the orcs that I'm bringing in this mission. My warlord will be my war boss. He's been upgraded with his special abilities from the campaign, which we'll go over uh, a little bit later. That'll come into play if it comes into play. Um, for my troops here, I have a squad of 10 boys, the Choppa Boys. My knob has been upgraded with some uh, better chopping abilities. He actually hits better. Hits on a three plus because of his upgrades, plus any hit rolls of sixes score additional hits. So that's really, really good for them. Uh, they're also, they have a, a battle scar, so that means they're minus one leadership. And they have to minus another one from their combat attrition test. So that's something I'll need to remember in this game. For my uh, scrap jet over here, the upgrade that he's been given, because he also has an upgrade, uh, he has a better crew. They shoot a little bit better, so it's adding one to their hit roll. Rerolling ones. Uh, Rerolling ones. Uh, let's uh, say it correctly. Um, thank you very much for that. Then that's why Scar is here to, to help me with the stuff that I don't know, which is a lot, I must admit. Um, my battle wagon is brand new to the campaign right now. I just purchased them before this game started, so uh, purchased them as in paid the points for his power with requisition requisition points. Uh, so he's in this game. I'm excited for that. Uh, and just as a reminder, his a special gun up top, his Killa Cannon. Kill Cannon, yeah. Kill Cannon uh, has been upgraded to Da Boomer, <laughs> which is 2d6, strength 8, minus 2, 2 damage shots. Amazing. So um, that is an additional requisition point for that. And that basically unlocks the stratagem, the, uh, uh, what's it called? The uh, gubbins? Not the gubbins, the... Uh, shiny bits or something? Shiny bits, yeah, yeah, something sure. like that, yeah. It's orky. So it's orky. Just make up something orky from Psychic Awakening. There's yes. strategic uh, assets or something like that that uh, allows me to spend a requisition in order to use this Psychic Awakening stratagem yeah, to add uh, this permanently to this for the duration of the campaign. Perfect. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, long way of just saying his gun is a little better. <laughs> uh, and then we have some tank buses. They're brand new uh, out of the roster of units that I'm able to bring. So I've never brought them in this in a game in this campaign yet. So I'm excited to see what they do. They shoot tanks. They do. Well, they're supposed to. Yeah, they should. <laughs> <laughs> and then I got a couple uh, trucks, you know, just to help them out. And what you see is what you get on everything. So. Uh, we have boy squad in one, and then we have the tank buses in the other. And that's it. That's my 35 power. Let's see what the Yanari got. So here we have the entirety of the Crusade Force as it stands. It is 55 power level, not 60, mm. like the Orcs. However, for this game, I'm only bringing the 35 power level. Now, you have killed many Inari yes. souls. You have summoned the Incarn to the battlefield. Oh. Ba it has rifted from the brink and souls swirling around. It has made an appearance in the game. It does have two psychic powers, so we'll smite. It has Gaze of Inead and Ancestor's Grace. So it can do mortal wound output, and it also can make a friendly unit within a team reroll ones to hit. So it's pretty good. You should be facing forward. Then we have <laughs> <laughs> the Reborn. They did gain a battle honor. They are bloodied. And they are cool-headed. It allows them to overwatch without using a CP, and when they do so, scoring hits on fives and sixes. And if you haven't watched that, 
other game that we had in the vault. Like, make sure you check it out, because now you'll know why they got that. Mm -hmm. Then we have the Raider over here uh, that has taken a um, Battle Scar. Yes. That's right. So uh, its Phantasm Grenade Launcher is uh, minus one strength and uh, minus one to wound or something like that, which is means it's only strength one now. <laughs> or it's, <laughs> it's uh, Does that sure. mean it wounds grots on sixes? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> oh, or fives. That's, yeah. that's amazing. Yeah. Uh, the Venom, which uh -huh. is there, is fine. And then the Incubi. They have an upgraded Clavex weapon because they are also bloodied where the Clavex has plus one strength and plus one damage on his demi claves, making him quite dangerous in close combat. Wow. But other than that, 35 power level, the Incarn has been summoned. Let she, let's see if she can bring about the demise of the orcs invading our webway space. Today's mission will be taken from the big rule book. It is a crusade mission incursion supply cache. The deployment map includes four player-placed objective markers, with the player deployment zones running the long table edges. Mission special rules include objective markers. The players alternate placing four objective markers on the battlefield, one at a time, starting with the attacker. Objective markers can be placed anywhere on the battlefield and that is more than six inches from any battlefield edge, and more than six inches from any other objective marker. Mission objectives include capture and control, which is progressive. It states, at the end of each player's command phase, the player whose turn it is scores 10 victory points for each of the following conditions they satisfy, for a maximum of 30 victory points. They control one or more objective markers. They control any objective marker in their opponent's deployment zone. They control more objective markers than their opponent controls. This mission objective cannot be scored in the first battle round. Victor bonus. The victor of this mission gains two requisition points after this battle, instead of just one. Special thanks to the following companies for providing the awesome train pieces and battle mat for this bat rep, starting with Table War. They are the ones responsible for this space mat. And we have Death Ray Designs for these Eldar-inspired terrain pieces. And then we have Games Workshop for this webway here. Just as a reminder, for Silver Vault members, uh, you gain discounts to uh, two stores here in particular, Death Ray Designs and Table War. When you're a Silver Vault member, you gain access to your Silver Vault discount code page, and there's nearly 30 companies included in there, and these two included. So check that out. If you're a Silver Vault member, there's a link in the video description below to that exact page, so you can see the discounts that are available. We have finished deployment. Uh, everything is starting on the battlefield, this game inside transports and such. I have my war boss with my tank buses inside this truck. And I do need to mention that this truck also has an upgrade. I don't think I mentioned that in the beginning. Uh, the upgrade for this is the uh, repair special ability, but this one is different than say a typical Rhino in that it automatically regains a wound, a lost wound. At uh, the start. Oh, at the start of the guys. command phase. Yeah. So it's, I guess it's like, uh, uh, what was it? Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, it will not die. Uh, living metal. Uh, living metal has from that. the Necrons. Yes, infernal regeneration is what I was trying to say before for chaos. But this isn't chaos. This is orcs. Well, you know, you, the the spirit of Defi is within within this. Right? Absolutely, yeah. I agree. Uh, in here, battle wagon, the uh, bone cruncher, bone chopper, bone cruncher, the bone, bone breaker, bone breaker. That's it. Uh, no one inside there. Very close. Very close. You uh, almost got it. Bones are being decimated no matter what's happening. <laughs> inside this truck are my choppy boys, and then I got my uh, my scrap jet on the end there. And what about you, Scary? What are your things, and what are they doing? So, a raider full of cavalry warriors. A venom full of incubi. Yeah. And the incar. Okay. That's it. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> And these are the objectives. So these supply caches, these crates here, are the supply caches that my orcs are trying to loot because now that I've pushed into the Yanari territory or space, I see these shiny gubbins, or what I see as gubbins, in the form of these supply caches. And that's my goal anyway. That's my narrative reason for being here. Uh, I have to stop you from taking my stuff. You got to, right? Like, you just, why am I going to loot I'm you? I'm going to try and stop the bleeding. Oh, it's just like constant. <laughs> they're just, they're in here. They're a pest. <laughs> I want to push you out of the webway. Yes. Shoot. 
That's the goal. Push me back into the webway. <laughs> and this is a reminder for myself and for everyone who's curious, uh, grot riggers on my bone breaker. And so I'll be rolling for that should I need to regain some wounds. Roll to see who goes oh. first. Five, one. Oh. Do you want to go first? Do I? I don't know. Do I? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Can you tell from my face? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. I can't actually. I'm gonna let you make a decision. I think I've influenced enough of your choice makers <laughs> yes, you over the course of this campaign. <laughs> this is totally up to you. I will go first. Okay, fair enough. Yes. Yes. No, just <laughs> Agendas. What did you choose? So I picked. Priority target, you have four vehicles. I have to kill them, so that's the priority target. That makes sense. And, and what is three experience per? It's two, two each, but it's technically four in our campaign. Because we're doubling. Because yes. we're doubling everything. Awesome. And I'm gonna pick survivors. So at the start of my command phase, so after you've shot and I see what you've killed, mm -hmm. I pick a unit and I try and keep that alive till the end of the game. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So after, so it's at this, well, your first. Correct, so if you, I can't, I'm not gonna pick my raider only for you to blow it off turn one. For sure. After your turn. Since you're going first, then I get to pick a unit to uh, survive. <laughs> that makes sense. Yeah. Um, I'm also going to choose priority target because you have a vehicle, vehicle monster. Correct. So that makes a lot of sense. And I'm also choosing Reaper because that allows me to have a little competition between myself here. And whoever kills the most at the end, I take a tally and uh, I get, uh, what, three experience? Two. Or two. It's two XP, but times two, so it's four, four. XP. Yeah to the a unit who kills the most in this game. I oh. love it. It'll be a competition. Ugh. Will it be the Bone Breaker? Will it be the Chavi Boys? Will it be the War Boss? Or the Tank Busters? Or the Mecha Scrapjet? Or a truck? I don't know. Ah, we shall see. At the beginning of the game here, in terms of command points, because there is a eight point difference between the Crusade points, I have a total of 10 right now, and Scarry here with all his plus and minuses <laughs> yeah. has a total of two. I do. Uh, eight point difference in how it works. Divided by two? Divided by two. Rounded up. Rounded up. So that means you get additional four Correct. command points. So I'll start with 10. And I'll start with six. Which right. goes up to seven right now at the beginning of my command phase. I love it. Now onto my movement phase, I'm gonna advance my truck with my Chopper boys inside. My goal here is, let's see, four, okay, good. My goal is to get to this objective. Well, I want to be on that. Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
So hitting on sixes again. So here we go. Nothing. Oh you my goodness. You get to reroll one though. I will reroll one. Wow. Not okay. a single six there. So I have three big shooters. Four. I have four. I count four. One, big shooters. Two. See, it's enough that an orc can count up to four. Uh, you're not wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I, I like your number better. So 12 shots. Yeah. Hitting on sixes with these. Come on. Oh, I got a couple. I'll reroll. I can't. I already rerolled. You did, yes. So, wounding you. Reroll one of those. Then. I'll reroll one of these. Yeah. Oh, wow. Whole I, lot of nothing. I think this raider got off a little easy with uh, all the rockets that have been shot at it yeah, so far. So many. Woo! So many. Moving on down the line of this awesome shooting that I'm doing. That's right. Uh, the truck at the raider. Why not? Big shooter. Here we go. Rerolling. That's not hitting either. Now for the scrap jet. Uh, you also have the guys inside, right? <sighs> yeah. You have a yeah. rocket. Yeah, you're right. I'll do a rocket. Sure. Yeah. So here we go. What's he shooting at? Uh, the raider. Oh, that makes sense. So that's a miss, but I'll reroll it. Correct. That's a miss too. Okay. Scrap jet will Plus shoot. This is already minus one to hit. Scrap jet <laughs> will. Uh, yeah, you know what? I'll shoot him because I want to actually kill something. Okay. So <laughs> let's do the two D3 rocket shots. Yep. Getting six. Oh, look at that. Awesome. Loves it. Okay. Uh, now I hit you on a sixes because Correct. you are oh, minus one. Uh, no. You get a reroll though. I do get a reroll. Mm -hmm. Oh, finally. Which gives you another so shot. Does. No. No. Okay. So winning a three. Correct. Reroll. Okay. Come on. That's a wound. Okay. Five up. Yep. Eat no. It. That's all this work. <laughs> one finally goes through. <laughs> Nothing. Okay, you still have more guns though. You I still have more do. Guns. So here's my single shot. Yeah. That is uh, plus one to hit you. Correct. So here we go. Uh, that misses. Nope. That always that one always misses. It does every time. Even against my like vehicles apparently. Six shots with my twin big shooter. Correct. Uh, I get an additional hit because of that. All right, and I'm gonna reroll. No, I already rerolled. Yep. And. Nope. Nope, and I already rerolled the wound. Okay. So that shooting phase did nothing. Uh, basically gave you a free ride. Yeah, you know what? I'll, I'm okay with that. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. You know, the incarns here. We have to like stand up for what's right. <laughs>。Okay, so I'll pick my first survivor. The incubi will be the survivors. So the incubi, I'm trying to keep them alive for the entire game, which is funny because I'm probably going to run them into combat. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm okay with this. Okay. Just let me the double check that seven and then a charge. You know what? I'll go for that. That's kind of cool. And then this is an eight over here and then a charge. Hmm. Yeah. But there's a whole bunch of guys in there. It might just be easier to go in and just charge here. And then you know what? Yeah, I'm good. Let's do this. I like it. So what's in first? Okay. So this guy is just gonna move sixteen. Ah. He's gonna fly up. No, he's just gonna fly right here. Stay, stay. He is the survivor after all. You mentioned like your incubi going to charge. Are they not going to anymore? Nope, not anymore. Oh. I am not going to charge my incubi. Okay. So I'm actually going to do it with the incarn. We. Yeah, that makes a little more sense. Now, of course, we decide these are not nothing, so that's why it's all like that because technically they're flat. Gotcha. <laughs> and uh, this folk over here is just going to get within three inches of this objective here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just like that, to make sure that I can test that objective, just to stop you from holding more if anything happens, and getting my guns in range. Psyche phase. The incarn gets to cost two pounds. I'll start with a, a smite. Into the scrap jet. That's uh, perils. But it's also a d6 smite. Oh. Okay, so I'll oh. take the perils. Yes. Uh, how many damage does she take? Two. She gets a six of feel no pain, and takes one. And then does D6 mortals. One. Ah, two. Two. Not twice as many as one. That's not bad. So nine down to seven. Going to do another mortal wound power, which is the um, Gaze of Ineos. So does it go? I don't believe it does. I think it needs a six. Shooting time. This Venom. Going to shoot right into there. Scrap it. no other targets at the moment. Oh, I always forget that there was minus one to hit. Ah. Oh. Well, I'll take the hitting on threes, uh, even though it is poison, so I'm wounding you on sixes. And you will take a single armor save. I'm glad I didn't spend that command point. 
I died. So that goes through. Uh, yeah. And just as a side note there, my scrap jet, he has an upgrade that allows him to reroll hit rolls of one because of his improved uh, uh, crew. He has crew. an elite crew. Elite crew, that's yeah. it. Yes, I can't remember, but I'll just try to remember from now on. Yeah, we, we don't remember what was rolled, and it's too far gone to check all the footage. No. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 seconds we don't have. 10 seconds, that's it. This all is a 10-second right. rule. All right, so? Uh, the unit inside of here is just going to shoot everything into the ball breaker. Yeah. So these are just all the splinter rifles into the, the bone breaker. So hitting on threes, and then the sixes are an additional hit. Wounding on sixes. And you take one armor save. Made it. He's okay. And then we're doing the three melter weapons. And one hits. But your toughness eight, so I need a four. That is an invulnerable save for you. Six up. Nope. D6 damage. And I will spend the CP for my 11 to reroll that into a... What? <laughs> <laughs> you take a single damage. Awesome. Bone breaker. The disintegrator cannon will now go. Three shots. Hit once, needing a five to wound. Nothing. And the phantasm grenade launcher. Three shots. And wounding on sixes. No, no nickel and dime, an extra wound off here. <laughs> I like that, nickeling and diming. Yeah. I like that. I believe that's all I have for my shooting phase, so I will declare a charge with the incarnate into your scrap deck. I will overwatch. That makes sense. Yes. <clears throat> How many shots with the rockets? Uh, okay. Six shots. Six shots. He's very excited. All right, now I'm going to remember to reroll hit rolls one here. Correct. So, uh, reroll these two. And you can reroll an extra one if you want with the. With, with the, your. Which mm -hmm. I will. I'll do it right now. Yep. And I get an additional shot. Okay, so one hit, mm -hmm. and wounding you on uh, strength, toughness six. Or, okay, so yeah. three. Yeah. I'll reroll that. Cool. That's a wound. And an impulse hit. It's a four. Up. No, takes three damage. Takes two damage. So you're down by three. So how many wounds? Uh, nine. So you're down to six. Yeah. Okay. Now for the single shot. Misses, and now for my six. Um, Two hits, nice the, done. The Two six shots. other things that they're called. And re-rolling the one to hit? Yes, indeed. Mm -hmm. Okay. And now wounding you fives. on fives. No. No, that's nothing. Okay, and then I need a seven to get in here. Seven charge. Ten! Nom, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I am scared. Nom, 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 nom. Because this thing... Now, what's the rule if you kill me, what? No, if any model dies, she can go to where the unit... So if any unit dies, she can just go to wherever y the unit dies. Any goes. unit dies? Any unit. Yours, mine, doesn't matter. Okay. Yeah. So... Okay, so she gets six attacks. Hitting on twos. Haha. -ha. Strength six on top of the six, wounding on fours. And she gets to reroll all wound rolls. So that'd be two invulnerable saves. Okay, six ups. And how much damage does she do? D6. Take? Each? Each. Oh boy. Mm -hmm. So here's the first one. Here's the second one. Uh, I'm gonna spend a command point to reroll one of these. Okay. All right. Two D6 damage. That would five. be five. And I will spend a command point to reroll the one into a five. And that's explodey. Does she die? Does she? She does. D3 mortals to everything within three. Okay. Two, and then your truck. My truck. So I take two. Okay, and then my truck. Three. Cool. <laughs> and that's that. Wow. Okay. And consolidate or no? Nope, she's just going to stay right there. Staying there, huh? That's right. Well. I yeah. just need to make sure you didn't get a uh, hold more, so you get just 10 points for your hold at the start of your turn. And yes, indeed, I get 10 victory points for holding this objective. This one is contested, so nothing for that. And you hold that one back there. I do. So I'm going to have to do some work here. Um, now, do you have, does the uh, stratagem apply to your incarn? Which one? The one where you can bring her back? Uh, no. The Incarn does not have that special rule. Okay. 
Beginning of my turn two, I go up to six command points. Yep. Uh, also, I'm going to just go ahead and do all the stuff that I'm going to do. Yeah, and on a four plus, he gains a wound back. Yes! Mm -hmm. No! He does not. And is my truck wounded? Not uh, the one that is able to regain That's wounds. the special one. This is the special This is just a normal truck. I should have put him up there, not yep. going to lie, but that's okay. I am going to disembark my boys over there. So my boys have disembarked. They're now contesting that objective. I'm going to move my truck as well so that I'm <laughs> contesting the objective in the back from your Venom. Makes sense. My Bone Breaker will move forward here just to get into position. Mm -hmm. Disembarking old Rabby so that he can go forward. And I'll advance with him because it makes sense. He's able to do a charge after advancing. And gets the extra movement. So he does. So I add one to this advance roll. He's a lot. Of, he's a lot. He's fast. Seven plus, plus six, is six. Thirteen. Yeah. Look at that. That's a plus is three disembark. Plus is th sixteen. So sixteen inches. He's a fast one. This one. So I think it's safe to say that he can be right there. <laughs> that does make sense. Yes. Um, and I will move my truck. Yep. In such a way where he's touching this uh, terrain, mm -hmm. so that I'm not minus one to hit your raider. Yep. Now for the shusty shusty, I'm going to do tank busters into the raider. The raider. I like it. I'm going to shoot at your raider here. I need uh, five uh, fives because I'm yep. in the terrain here. Correct. Awesome. So I'll hit another. That's six. And you get a reroll for your. So and you get to reroll everything because you're. Uh, oh, because I'm a tank buster. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yes, 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 yes. Yeah. And oh, okay, getting another one there. there. Cool. Uh, so here we go. I'm going to wound you in threes. Correct. Um, Five up. And I'll reroll one of these though. Yeah, that's fine. I can save one. <laughs> cool. Okay. And I take three damage. Take three. Good blah. Okay, good. We're getting somewhere. Better than last round already. Warlord now. You're gonna shoot. Uh, Super rocket. His rocket. Just the rocket though. I like it. Okay, I get plus one because of my improved sights. Yep. And you're minus one because you're in that, so it just negates itself. Therefore, Correct. hitting you on a not that, but I'll reroll it. Yep. That's a hit. That is. And I'll wound you on a three. That's a wound. AP. Two. Hit the two. I won't use his, uh, I'll just use his armor safe. He takes three damage. Okay. Oh no! What are you down to? Uh, he has four left. Four left. Stick bomb chuckas. I'm going to shoot a uh, 12 inch, so I'll shoot at your raider. And then my uh, big shooter, I'll target your, your brain. Is that her name? Yes. No. The Incarn. Incarn. The Incarn. The Incarn. Okay, so D6 for my stick bombs first, and that's six. Nice. And uh, hitting you on uh, fives. Yep. And that's one hit. Yep. And uh, I'm not going to reroll this. Okay. But yeah. you get an extra shot, so it doesn't wound. You roll the six to hit. Oh, is it a it five? It was a five. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, so this does not wound you. Nope. Now for the big shooter into the Incarn. Yep. Uh, that's an extra. Mm-hmm. And I'll reroll one of these. Correct. Doesn't make sense. So many dice that orcs can end up rolling. And then I'll wound you. T6, yeah. Okay, on four. And I'll reroll this. T5s, but on fives. Yeah. That's a wound. Armor safe? He's okay. Okay. <laughs> and going on over here, I'll move to this truck into the incarn. <laughs> All the shots. Uh, just uh, the uh, big shooter. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> uh, whoa, well, extra hit. Nice. Uh, okay, and I'll reroll one of those. All right. <gasps> Was that an extra hit oh, for the reroll? It was, yeah, actually. It was. There you go. All right. So, uh, wounding you on Fives. none of those, with but I'll reroll one of these. And def the one death skulls with that extra, he's good. Okay. The, he has a three up armor. The the death skulls with that reroll every time is just so it, efficient. It's, it's fantastic. So, yeah. so, so good. I have to And that six agree. up invul save has saved you so many <laughs> times. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go on to the boys. <laughs> I'm going to spend a command point for my <laughs> stick bomb uh, stratagem, yeah, which I'm going to throw at the Incarn. Correct. Uh, and then I'm also going to spend two more for Mordeca. Okay, so you're spending quite a few command points here, which is nice. Yes. Eight D6 shots to see how many uh, stick bombs. And okay, that looks like it's decent. So we got 10, uh, 26. Because Mordeca, fives and sixes gain me additional uh, hits. Okay, and that so that worked. Look, look at that. Four, four or five pluses. So that uh, I like it. Oh, five, five pluses. Wow. Had I not done that, I only would have got three hits on you, or extra hits, I should say. Correct. So rolling eight additional shots and getting another two out of it. Very nice. These are wounding on sixes. 
and I get absolutely none. Okay, down to the big ones. Down to the, it's, it's really unfortunate that You know, all they dropped a bunch of exploding things into a mist. That's literally what this is. It's a soul <laughs> mist. It should. And guess what? They all missed. They all oh! missed. Oh, oh, <laughs> you're a dad. I, 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 I've earned those stripes. Look at them. Dad strike. <laughs> dad strike. D3 shots with a tank buster bomb. That's right. Yeah, that's the most you could have rolled. Yep. There you go. And because of more deck, I have fives and sixes. <laughs> I'm terrified. Oh, two more. Look at that. Amazing. Tank buster oh, bomb. Okay. Good thing they don't give you extras. Uh, I could reroll that miss. No, right. no, you can reroll the miss. That's not a problem at all. You get a reroll miss and a reroll win. So. Yeah, so I'll do it. And it's the same damage as the uh, rocket. Sa no, it's D6 damage instead of three straight. Oh, you know what? I'll do it for this then. I'll reroll this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow. And another shot. Oh my goodness! No. Okay. Oh, okay. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Because that because would have been crazy. You know? Five hits out of three shots. That'll happen. Wounding on threes here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll reroll one of these. Yep, does make sense. Three wounds. Three. Okay. Swirling mist. Huh? Uh huh. And I fail one, which I will promptly spend a command point on. Okay. <gasps> Hiya! No! Yes! She's not going to die to a tank buster bomb oh. today. Okay, rocket! Rocket! Well, no, what was it? I don't know. You're rolling it under the terrain. And an additional hit? Uh, no. I gotta be honest. I pulled it out. Oh, and it, it flipped? It was a one. Okay. Well, yeah. Yeah. The orcs, they know. So, uh... Oh! That's too bad. That would've been... Oh. <laughs> That was close, man. Oh my oh. gosh. Those, give, those Chavi boys have given me like PTSD, okay? <laughs> Every time I see them come out, they do something, they okay? They do something. So I've been terrified. <laughs> now for the bone breaker. The bone breaker. All the shots into your raider. <laughs> 2d6 with the da boomer. The big boom gun thing. Pretty cool. Six. Nice. Okay, nice. okay. Okay, okay. Uh, now shooting. All fives. No, sixes, because I'm. you're not touching the terrain there. Right. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> one. That's an extra shot. And you get to reroll one. I will. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <gasps> oh. Oh my goodness. That's two. And now. Threes. And you get to reroll one of those. Two. What's the AP on these? Uh, minus two. Okay, so I'll just take it on his armor safe, which is a six up. And I fail both. Oh no! Four damage. So it's gonna die. Does it explode? It does. No! <laughs> no, it's too much. Oh, rebel, rebel, rebel. Two. Okay. Oh, rebel, rebel, rebel. Two. Two All each. Right. So now I have a six I'm up excited. deny. You do six up. You're only paying for that. So here we go. Okay, I take the two. Okay, okay. So before we remove the model, I got to put these guys down. Oh no! What's going to happen? I don't. Oh, you know what? In retrospect, you shouldn't have killed I it. I shouldn't have killed it. You hold the objective now. Ah! Okay, so now I have to roll for each model in the unit. So technically, this is the order of operations. Just saying. Okay, the order of operations. I lose one of them, so one of them will go down every okay. time. Only ever one. And when I remove this, oh. Ah! oh. <laughs> I have to be able to place it. There we go. Uh, Ta-da! Uh, okay. Okay. I like okay. it. Okay. All right. Okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> now on to the charges. Let's start you with- You have also made me always strike first. Ah! Yes, you're right. Because of your thing. That's right. Yes, your death and whatever duty. Strength from? Strength from death. Death. <laughs> Correct. All right. Now for the boys. Choppy boys, gonna charge your venom. Okay, I will spend a CP to Overwatch because I don't need to spend it over here. So I'll spend a CP and they're gonna Overwatch your choppy voice. All right. Okay, one, two, and 12 shots. <laughs> I like the math. On sixes. Daka, 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 daka. Oh, I can daka you too. That's two. Got two. On fours. One, one. armor save. And... I kill 10 attacks. That Worth. is a dead boy. That is a dead boy. Just, just Let's over. Let's take away the guy who's really far away. Yeah. All right, now I gotta roll a nine. Yeah, just, just over nine. So here we go. And they get to reroll because they are orkies. And they do. Yeah, orkies. Ten. I like it a lot. Oh my goodness. 
Mm-hmm, there you go. And just for good measure, let's have that truck go in too. Okay, the truck's doing damage since 1999. Uh, and I guess that counts because we're not counting the Correct. objective. It's, it's, it's just a flat thing, it's just barrels, it's all good. All right, let's do a bone breaker into your Cabalite Warriors. Uh, well, I have to overwatch you. Yeah, and you don't get to spend, you don't need to spend a command No, point sir, because they are cool headed. <laughs> cool whip. <laughs> Whip, whip, cool whip. Uh, and here are the Cavalite Warriors. On fives, this is just the regular shots. And right. on Because their upgrade allows them overwatching sixes. on uh, Correct. Five, Nothing from there. Mm -hmm. And then the four Melta style pistols or lances. The two mm -hmm. blasters, the lance of the blast pistol. Two hits. That's too many. Okay, and needing fours to win because you're at T4, which is, means it's pretty hefty. And I will spend a CP to reroll one. You take an invulnerable save, uh, sir. All right, six up. No. Okay, for D6 damage. One. Uh, one at a time. That's, you know, one at a time. time is fine. Down to 12. One at a time. <laughs> <laughs> one at a time, that's good. Okay. I'll just do one at a time. Do you have uh, another one or no? No, that's it. That's, okay. the only gun, that's the only weapons that I can uh, shoot there. So I will charge with my nine. Very cool. And I think that's all I need. Nom, 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 nom. Okay, now my war boss. Cool. He's gonna declare your, uh, do you have any shooting attacks with her? No shooting with, attacks. With, uh, okay. You know what, I really wanna get in, so I'm just gonna roll it. Okay, I wanna I'm attack her. charging her? I'm gonna just, well, I'll charge your dudes too, okay. but I have to make it to her anyway. You have to make it to both. Both, exactly. Yes. Yeah. So, let's see. So let's just see how far he needs to roll. So it's three inches up, and then three inches across, well, four to him, so that's three, so six, and then an inch to get to the wall. So you need a seven. But you got to re add plus one, so you need a six. Need a six, okay, so here we go. Here we and go. And you can re-roll it thanks to, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Because he's like, let's do this. Let's do it. Uh, let's do it. The Kelly Claw is exactly where he needs to be. And he will go first, and he will put all his attacks into her. Yep, that does make sense. Four attacks, Correct. my Kelly Claw. That's right. Hitting on uh, twos. twos. Uh, Re-rolling my Both. misses. Both of them. I needed to really get that. Okay. I really needed that. Well, actually, you have four wounds left, so only one needs to go through. Yeah, just one has to go through. So twos. To Three. No, Three is to wound. Yeah. Okay. Three is to wound. Oh. And re-rolling misses. You do re-roll everything because you are the killy claw. And that's three that Three. go through. Okay. Four up invulnerable saves for the incarn. Swirly, swirly. <laughs> that's definitely going to not be good. That's okay. The death. So I will. Uh, that's four. No. She you explode? No, 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 no. She has to take twelve feel no pains. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. So you're not quite dead yet. I was hoping she'd pass at least one of those so I could reroll one. But she, you got her. She's dead. Whew. Okay. That was uh, scary. That's the killy claw for you. That's the killy claw. And because uh, something died before you get to go. I get to go. Now what did die? Uh, the raider and the incarn. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I'll just pile that in. I guess it was the raider thing I was thinking. Actually, oh, they're dead anyway. I'm gonna go over here. Uh huh. And I will use my um, pylons to get equidistant to both the dudes and that guy there. And I'll attack on fours and wound on fours. Nothing. And then I'll pile in three inches towards the closest this way. Good luck. So he has to just pile in to attack me. And that's that. You get to pick the next one. Wait, wait. Did you not, did you roll? Yeah, yeah. I just didn't do any damage. Oh, it happened so quick like an Eldar. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Death roller now on the bone breaker. Uh, six plus D6 attack. So we get nine in total, mm -hmm. which is excellent. I like it. Uh, I am doing lightning fast, so they are minus one to hit. Okay, so instead of hitting on twos, I hit on threes. Correct. Yeah, because uh, that roller allows me to do on twos, which is really cool. Hit a lot better. I will re-roll this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, and now and twos. wounding on twos and re-rolling one of those. Yeah. Okay. So that looks like minus two seven at minus two. Cool. I don't get saves, so seven, and I'll just do one, two, three, four, five, six, and you seven. You got seven. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven. Done and done. Done and done. They're gonna pile in and swing at you. Three attacks on threes. 
And needing sixes. Two. Two. <laughs> and nothing. Okay, because it. Mm -hmm. okay. They have a four up save or three up save regardless. I will go next with uh, the okay. Chubby Boys. And They're I'll just going to all jump in? I'll all jump in. They're all, they're all in range. So we pre measured? So yeah, just so to make sure. That they all, all get to swing. Sluggers will hit on threes. And wounding on fives. Whoa. Okay, getting seven wounds. Seven? Yes. Uh, no EP, so just four ups. And I take one. And now for my knob of the power claw. He's got an heirloom. Mm -hmm. So here we go, hitting on threes with his power claw. Yep. Oh, wow. That's huge. He hits all the time. Thanks mm -hmm. to his, uh, m his finely balanced mm, power claw. That's right. Uh, now wounding you on threes. Correct. So three D3 damage, go right through. They go right through. Okay. Yep. Three. Minus three AP. And you kill it. That's exactly the Does amount. it explode? It does. <laughs> of course it does. And there's five guys inside. And I lose two of them. Wow. To the explosion. <laughs> okay, took them. They just got out three, so the truck can't pile into them. And then one more of these is dead. And just that's my turn there. So morale. I'm just gonna spend two combo. So they're gonna auto pass morale, and they're leadership nine, so they don't need it. Your leadership one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, minus one because of your your uh, detriment. So your leadership seven, and you've lost two. So on a six, you are gonna fail morale oh, there. You are and right. And on a Five, one model will run because of the Tormentor helps. He's fine. Cool. Yeah, it's good. So that's the end. So that, that was a very successful turn. A lot better than I was expecting. Craziness. Good turn. Turn two. Turn two. So they, I do get 10 points for that, which is great. And then I am just going to um, get out and um, Ooh. We'll uh, we'll see about you know doing some uh, revenge here. I'm just gonna stay <laughs> out of heroic intervention range. I'm just gonna, ah. yeah, just shoot him. And then the Inculi are just gonna get up here and get ready to charge you. And revenge. Well. Mm -hmm. So in the shooting phase, I do spend two for that, so I'm down to one CP, and I'll just do my shooting. So a, a blast pistol and a blaster into a your war boss. And I hit him twice. Hit hit. <laughs> and I wound him zero times. Okay. Cool. And over here, no shooting. Um, I will actually reroll one of those. Okay. As well, if it gets through, that'd be fun. It does. You do get your four up in bottom save though. Four up in bottom save. Mm -hmm. He's fine. Makes he loves sense. it. And then the NQI will charge. I'll spend a command point to Overwatch. I love it. Tank bust the bomb first. Nothing. Uh, the rocket. One shot. Oh, so, yeah. Yeah, D3 shots. Then I guess that. So extra shot. That hits. Uh, yeah, so I'll reroll yeah. it. Two's two wound. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cool. Two's two wound. Yeah. Two wounds. Saves. I am in the cover though, so I got plus one. One goes through. D6 damage. One. Six off heal a bit. Nope. One guy goes down. One goes down. Uh, so that was the tank buster bomb? Yep. Now for the rocket. Hit, oh. extra shot. I like it. Okay, uh, wound is gonna do. And a save, he's okay. All right, and now for the pistols. Six shots here, hitting on sixes, and they all miss. Cool. Okay, well, oh, yeah. I think that was worth it. Cool, they make it then. Hurrah. And coming on over here to this side of the battlefield. Awesome, so I've got my Clavis. I have six attacks from the Clavis, hit on two. And uh, three attacks from the other guy. Cool. They're all strength four with the plus one strength on the Clavex weapon, which is nice. So I'm eating force to wound. And these are all AP enough to just force you to take invulnerable saves, so four. Inbound saves, all fail. Four go down. So four go down. We'll take all these guys and then we'll take this guy in the back. Actually, might as well do him. Yep. And piling in, I'll just go first with my knob. So hits on a three. Yes, sir. Uh, Rerolling that. And uh, wounding on twos. Twos. And that's three wounds. Three and minus three. I got sixes. And three of them go through for D3 damage. First so one. D3, D3, D3. Okay, so the first one is two. And then the next one takes two. all of these. So he takes two and dies. 
You got it. Bloop, bloop. Got some. And that is the end of the incubi. Morale phase. I'll spend two command points to auto pass these boys. Keep the choppy boys alive! I don't want to roll them on. I don't, they don't need more battle scars. They do not. No, they don't. Uh, I think they should stay how they are. Beginning of the round there, I get uh, 20 victory points because I hold an objective and I hold more than you. Correct. Uh, and what I'll do now is move towards you and uh, move towards you. I don't know if it matters too, too much. No, actually, two Cavalry Warriors. Before I move, I'm actually going to disembark my guys. Yeah. Because... Uh, and then on four plus, he gains a wound back. Yes. Thank you. Mm-hmm. No. He does not. So the reason why I'm disembarking my tank busters is so that they can finish off these Cavalite Royers so that they can get some experience in this campaign. I'm gonna go straight to the shooting phase. Let's go with uh, them right now. And uh, for fun, I'll throw those two bomb squigs in. I love it. And let's Little go. puppy dogs. Going in first. Rawr, 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 rawr. I'm gonna spend a couple command points here for more DACA. Yep, so you spent two, you had one, you got one. So you spent two, you're out of command points. Out of command points and... Uh, the two puppies. Looking for fives and sixes. That's an extra hit there that with that is. bird. is. And that's two hits. Cool. That's perfect. And this wounds you on a two, doesn't it? Correct. Okay. And I'll re-roll that one. I love it. The little puppy dogs. Two. And I just take minus two, so I don't get any saves. First one and second one. You kill them with puppy dog. Nice. Ba Boom. Ah, dead. And that's it. That is game. <laughs> Out of action tests. The incarnate is a special character. Can't gain or lose experience or nothing. So no roll. Nothing for it. The reborn. Okay, they're fine. The silent blades. Oh no. The venom. Okay. And the raider. Okay, so just the silent blades. They're gonna take the marker shame. You know what? Shame on them too. <laughs> shame. So, I uh, the reborn have gained another battle honor because I did mark them for greatness since they did survive the longest. So they did gain a weapon upgrade on the Sabrite. His boss pistol is now an accelerator with an extra six inch range. So a 12 inch pistol instead of a six inch now and an auto loader, so the six to hit will be an additional hit. Mm. I'm very excited about that, actually. The Venom Wave has also leveled up just by participating in every game so far. And I've given it an elite crew, so it can reroll ones to hit. Mm. During this game, only my scrap jet was killed, so I'm gonna roll an out of action test. On a one, something bad happens, so six, everything is good. Starting with my choppy boys here, so they actually achieved both of the agendas in this mission. Target priority, they were able to destroy the Venom, and they also killed the Incubi inside, winning them the Reaper target, or the Reaper agenda, which uh, means that they killed the most out of all of their other boys in the, in the force. So that's pretty sweet. Every other unit that killed stuff only killed one unit. They actually killed two. Um, so they're up to pretty high experience. Uh, they're nearly at their next level, um, but they were able to rank up one. That makes them battle hardened, which means that another uh, special ability is added to them. I chose veteran warriors, which allows them to reroll hit rolls of one. So I think that works out really well. Now for my bone breaker, he was able to achieve his agenda, which was target priority, therefore giving him four XP which uh, brought him to the first level. He is blooded now, and uh, I upgraded him with enhanced engines, which gives him plus two to his movement, and adding one to his advanced charge. And finally, my tanky busters. Um, I actually marked them for greatness, which boosts them up and gives them extra experience. They were able to kill one unit in the game, yes, uh, but it wasn't quite enough experience to make them level, and so I marked them for greatness so they could. They are now blooded as well, and I put their upgrades as weapon enhancements for their shooting attacks, and that goes on the knob in the unit. The first ability is Auto Loader, which states that on sixes to hit, I score additional hits, and I also improved Sights, which adds one to the hit roll for him. So he's a, he shoots his rockets a little better. 
Okay, so this is the campaign crusade force as it stands. 55 power level, where we've suffered some major losses against the orcs. So it's time to think about restructuring the campaign force. Now because the Incarn was just banished back to where she came, it means that we're gonna probably rejig some stuff, remove some of the units, use some RP, use some things like that, change some of the unit structures to give me a better unit composition to make sure that I can battle the orcs in the future. So I've been making some changes and this is what the new Crusade Force will look like. Ta-da! So the Incarn has been banished, has to come back. Yes. So both units of witches were removed from the roster because they were shameful. Same with the Incubi, <laughs> removed from the roster, replaced by a new unit of Incubi, fresh ranks, and a new unit of witches, however, it's a 10 strong unit instead of that, which means their battle honors, the battle scars, they're all gone, they just can't be, they can't come back to the campaign, they've just been put away forever. I have added some heavy firepower in the form of a Ravager with three lances, hopefully giving me some good anti-tank capability, as well as a beast pack. Five razor wing flocks with a beast master. Everything else has remained the same. Okay. And here we have the Yanari coming out of the webway into the area where it used to be uh, very sparse with orcs, now is heavily populated with orcs. They seem to be multiplying like fungus. Yes, look what they've done. <laughs> So this is the setup for our next mission. Uh, it will be a sabotage mission, an incursion battle. You can see these piles of uh, supplies and things that the orcs are using to loot and make better vehicles. And oh no, the Inari have come back through with a vengeance, with some new vehicles and new bodies. And the orcs are here to defend their newly acquired loot. Uh, this game will be in the Mini Wargaming Vault. So uh, click on that link in the video description below and uh, watch this game. If you're not a Vault member, then we encourage you to, to click on that link anyway and sign up for a seven day free trial to the Vault so that you can see this matchup, see the outcome of this game, see the hilarity ensue. And thank you very much uh, for your support and your viewership. Thank you, Scary, for joining us. It's gonna be a lot of it's fun. It's gonna be amazing, I can't wait. I have to break through to the other side again, but this again. time my, my, go and then I'm going to blow some stuff up. That's right. Yes. And we're <laughs> going to see it. Uh, and this actually, I chose to build my list here a little more body heavy and your list is also a new list. So I'm not. A little different. Same little different. sort of elements, a little different. Yep. Uh, 35 power on both sides again. Mm -hmm. And we shall see what happens. So thanks again, guys. Happy Wargaming.